first one we're going to talk about tonight is so in the world mainly the ones that i'm sticking with tonight are mainly um franchises because there's so many so so many a sequel or it, it could just be any film really but um truthfully if you really think about it some of the sequel some of the sequels in the franchise might not be the best either and honestly everyone i i'm here to just point this out to everyone that for those of you who don't know i my favorite movie in the entire world is indiana jones is raiders of the lost ark it's not called indiana jones and raiders of the lost ark but it's called raiders of the lost ark now the first one is an all-time classic amongst the pillars of hollywood the second one, which was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. This movie got some hate by parents, by fans, to an extent for violence and the use of like ripping a guy's heart out and stuff like that. This is we talked about this movie when the uh the PG 13 rating came. We, we were talking about how the rating system of the MPA and stuff like that. But this one, this movie, um People think it's a bad sequel. Like if you go to if you go to the Rotten Tomatoes or the Metacritic score, it's in like the fifties or the sixties. Like half of half of critics liked it, half critics critics didn't. Some people really liked it, some people really didn't. I think it's a stone cold classic sequel because when you think about the Indiana Jones movies, you think of the trilogy. You don't think about the fourth one. Sorry, everyone. Um, but the fourth think- one exists. Uh, debatable. It but- exists. Hey, hey, you don't have to like it, JT, but you do have to acknowledge that it exists. I sadly have to acknowledge that it exists, yes. So, anyways, I digress. But Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is one of those movies that really... I I think it's a little bit underappreciated, truthfully, because it was it, it's still an Indiana Jones movie. It might be... It might not be him fighting, you know, the Nazis. It might not be him fighting, like, a a certain biblical force, but this is actually something that this is a, this is a movie that I think is actually pretty darn good. And for a while it was my favorite until I came to terms and said, you know what? The first one is the best one in my opinion, but this one is, it's just still very good. Still a very solid movie overall. It was, it came out in 1984 that one of the pillar years, of the eighties, come on, you know? So, but yeah, my first pick is Indiana Jones. And the Temple of Doom for many reasons and more. Bill, do you have any comments at all for this or no? I'm going to be honest with you, JT. I am not a big fan of Temple of Doom. Okay. But I can see why people say it's underappreciated because yeah, when people think of uh, the Indiana Jones movies, they think of Raiders of the Lost Ark or The Last Crusade. Yeah, they, t- they, typically, think of, they typically think of those two, but they don't think about this one. And I think this one gets a little bit thrown under, under the bus just a little bit. But that's me. Okay, so, I, that, can, I can see that. That's just my opinion, though. I mean, I, 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 when I think of this franchise, I think of it as a trilogy, and then they made a fourth one. Um, but this is still part of the trilogy. This is the second film in the franchise. Mm-hmm. So it, it, to me, it holds a lot more weight than most people feel it does but that's just me i'm a big 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 fan of this movie too i'm really kind of the franchise i love the character i'm excited to see what they do with the fifth one i'm very curious to see what they do with the fifth one um but we'll have to wait and see on that front as well but yeah my first pick is indian jones and the temple of doom 